The Apollo Explorer was designed by developers for developers, with a simple goal of making GraphQL query writing as fast and intuitive as possible. For the sake of our demo here, I've pointed the Explorer to the GitHub GraphQL API. Let's take a look at what we can do. The heart of the Explorer is its operation editor, which is built in Monaco and will feel familiar to anyone who has used VS Code before. The editor has full intelligence of your schema, meaning we can hover over fields to peek their definitions, command hover them to see full definitions, and even command click them to jump to their definitions in the docs. The editor also has autocomplete for field selections on control space, and even autocomplete for argument selections on fields. Not only does it show you which arguments are available for a given field, but once you've selected one, it fills in the variable value for that argument for you automatically. The Explorer is doing the work here of naming that variable, filling in the variable declaration at the top of your operation, and filling in the JSON scaffolding of that variable for you, so that we can super easily fill in a value here and just run this query. The Explorer also helps you manage multiple queries in your editor at once. It keeps your active query in focus, dimming the others, so you always know which context you're working with. And all of its shortcuts, like command enter to run, are also aware of this context. There's no more need to clarify which query you want to run in your editor because the editor just knows when you click the run button. And each operation also comes with its own context menu that allows you to take actions on it independent of the other operations in your editor. We can purposefully mess up one of these operations and introduce some syntax errors, but we will still be able to operate on the valid operation independent of that. We can format it, we can copy a link to it to share with other people on our team, and we can even still run this query. Next, let's take a look at the Explorer's documentation panel, which also doubles as a query builder. The documentation panel is designed to let you walk into your schema. You can start at the root types of query mutation and subscriptions if you have them, and as you progress further into your schema, the docs keep track of the path you've walked with breadcrumbs for you. This helps you jump backwards quickly if you'd like, but it also provides the documentation panel with crucial context. At any point, you can click a plus button to a field that you're looking at and add it to your query. And if you do that, the docs know exactly where in your query to put that field because it's on the path that you walked. You can use these plus buttons to add arguments to your query just as easily as you add fields. And the docs are also aware of the context of our active query, so if we switch that context in the editor, you'll notice that the state in the docs pane reflects that and different things are checked. And if we add fields to our query now from the docs pane, they'll be added to the query that we've just put the focus on. Next, let's take a look at search. The Explorer comes with a spotlight style search that has two steps. The first step is focused on helping you identify which field it is you're looking for. It's pretty common for fields of the same name to exist across many different types in the schema. So you can use the dot modifier here to fuzzy search on both type names and field names to filter that list down. Once you've selected which field you're looking for, and which type you're looking for it on, you're taken to the second step of search. This is all about selecting which breadcrumb path context you want to open that field up on in the docs. This is a crucial step and it takes the process of looking for a field and identifying a quick path to that field in your query from something that can sometimes take minutes, if you don't quite know what it is, to something that can take less than five seconds. Far faster than if we were to try and type this out in our editor by memory. To finish up our Explorer tour, let's take a look at some of the last few features for now. The Explorer has an operation time machine that allows you to go backwards and recover previous states in your editor. It tracks both the state of our operations and the state of our variables, meaning that we can experiment freely with adding fields to our query or changing the parameters of our variables and not have to feel like we're losing our work in doing that. And the Explorer also comes in both light mode and dark mode because these days, no developer tool seems to be complete without both. We are extremely excited to be sharing this tool with you today and have a lot more coming up for the Explorer even later this year. Please give things here a try and let us know what you think. And as always, happy querying.